What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. If I ever find a little bastard at this, it's dead meat. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to Paul Allen. From the raincoat to the song choice, this sequence is iconic, and for better or worse, is what most people picture when they think of this movie. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to Brian. It's mostly not off screen, unlike every other kill in this movie, and it's not too often you see someone killed with a condom. Guess he could have used some more protection. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to Brenda. James Gunn fought hard to achieve this big boob with a head face vision, and I fought very hard to make her into my worm womb. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the recapitation. This is by far my favorite scene in this movie and is head and shoulders above the other still amazing kills. Do it again. Oh, okay, uh, how about this? Giving this one the golden chainsaw is a no brainer, huh? Do it again! Fine, the kill is cool and funny. You happy now? Yeah, I think that worked. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the great big glob of gloop in the basement of the old steel mill. The effects are fantastic. They made all the people falling apart look horrific. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Big John. It's a nasty kill. The eyeballs popping out of his sockets is some seriously gnarly stuff. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Laurel Ann. That spew got a big ew from me and also kind of reminded me of something I might see in Scary Movie. But again, might be because of Georgina Riley's resemblance to Anna Faris. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the bus massacre, including Catherine. Out of all the Texas Chainsaw Massacres, this massacre was the most massacre of them all. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Conway. It may not be that grandiose, but it's the kill that kicks things off, and I think it's done really well. Traumatizing stuff right there. Yeah. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Renfield. Almost every kill happens off screen, but with Rennie, we get to watch him fall down the stairs like Father Karras. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Blackula himself, Prince Mamualde. I love the shots of him succumbing to the sun, and the use of stop motion and a bunch of Tans Academy maggots are a horrific end to this hotty hot vampire. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Jared. I can't show it in the public version of this video, but his face gets fucked up. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Esther slash Lena Clammer. Yeah, the character's 33, but what we're actually seeing is a full-grown woman kick a little girl in the face. That's fucking wild, y'all. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Liz. I hate that she goes through this because I really like the character, but it's hard to ignore how memorable and disturbing the head on a stick is. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Chucky in his doll form. Whether you include everything he went through in this movie's final sequence, or just the gunshot to the heart, it is gross the way this doll melts and bleeds all over the place. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the factory technician, turned into Kimmy Goodman by a good guy. This kill impacted me more than any other I can think of, except for maybe Drew Barrymore in Scream and the Jason X face smash. Golden chainsaw for coolest kill has a lot of options, but I'll give it to RJ. It kicks off the movie's bloody second half, and is such a severe stabbing that it ends in a decapitation. Brutal. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill once again to Chucky. When watching horror movies, all of us have thought, why don't they chop the killer into pieces? This movie said, we can do that for you. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Larry Talbot. I feel like I have to, given how much Cheney suffered to get it done. It's a classic shot in movie makeup history. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Constable Nye. I think this one gets a gasp out of everyone when they first see it. Golden Chainsaw for Coolest Kill has a bunch of options, but right now, I'm feeling it should go to Russ and Diane. It's so spectacularly violent and memorable, with the glass and water going everywhere. It's arguably the goriest kill in the movie, and it's enough to make Chucky put a ring on it. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for Coolest Kill to Pete Peters for that face melt. It's not my favorite CG, but where else are you gonna see John Waters with half his head looking like a pepperoni pizza? I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for Coolest Kill to Father Frank. It's constructed in such an interesting way, and does not skimp on the blood. Plus, you know me, I'm always a sucker for decapitations. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Dr. Foley. I'd love to give it to Carlos, getting killed by three Chuckies and all, but Foley's head smush is seriously one of the absolute grossest kills I've ever seen. Keeping things separated like a good Offspring fan, I'm gonna give three golden chainsaw awards. The award for Dude Bro 1 goes to Scooter, since that head explosion was epic, and luckily no one got hurt on set. I'm only concerned about the explosive going off and sending shards of teeth in our direction. The award for Dude Bro 2 goes to Chaz Noodleman and his epic hand decapitation. Handy 
decapitation? Nah, whatever. And the award for Dude Bro 3 goes to Spike. The head tap was super inventive, and the fact that he drank his own blood is just so gross. Also, as a friend of Michael's, I've wanted to kill him so many times myself. Thanks, Motherface. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to Bree Wheeler. The whole scene is so goddamn devastating while also beautiful, the combination that Mancini is always striving for. My one complaint is that it happens in the middle of the episode instead of the end. With a death this powerful, I would have preferred an entire week to digest it. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to Mallory. It's when shit gets real, and I love the abrupt edit. Makes it extra traumatic. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest human kill to the guy in the flashback who was decapitated, cause that head went flying. For animatronics, it goes to Artie Alligator. King Kong ain't got shit on Nick Cage! I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to Verusa. It's a perfectly over-the-top send-off to a perfectly over-the-top villain. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to the Grabber. Most of this movie's kills are off-screen, and it's grabifying to see Finny finally stand up for himself. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to that mega monster at the end, if only for the movie's commitment to this insane-looking practical creature. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to David. Rarely has a mystery reveal made me laugh so hard. Dude killed himself making a TikTok out of envy and kicked off this whole dumbass night. It's perfect. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill collectively to the six officers killed in Gabriel's incredible one-take kill streak. Seriously inspired stuff there. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to that shield decapitation. It was a brutal and creative use of a new old favorite weapon. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to the monster, the myth, the mohawk, Stripe. Motherfucker had a truly Hellraiser-esque skelemelt, looking like Frost the snowman left out in the sun. It's gooey, it's gross, it's golden, baby. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the call waiting from hell. Sure, it's technically a lot of kills, but come on, just look at that slop. It's the final meltdown. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Casey Becker. Lots of great kills in this movie, but I've gotta give top honors to the one that scarred me as a child. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Officer Richards. It's easily the goriest death in the movie, and the post-death twitching is the cherry on top. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to Tyson Fox. Most of these kills are pretty tame, but Tyson's got that spine-bending backflip. Hope his stunt performer got a bonus that day. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to Frank Baker. Just when you think he can get on his bike and ride away to safety, he's stopped by the killer coming back for one last scare. And it is a gory finish. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill to Olivia. The whole attack in her bedroom is pretty brutal, and the last bit with her guts spilling out is unusually gory for a Screen. I'll give the golden chainsaw for my coolest kill to Dewey. That guy's had his ticket punched for far too long. It truly was an honor to finally gut him like a fish. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the double landmine dude. You don't get too many landmine kills in horror movies in the first place, and this guy goes and double dips? Respect. 